Let's look at the next potential test for this market, and that is earnings. Earnings are going to begin rolling out in a big way. The second quarter results are rolling out next week. Uh, the big banks, as typical, always kick things off. S&P 500 companies are expected to show a decrease in profits of 43.9 percent from a year earlier. That's according to the analysts polled by Refinitiv. Uh, Refinitiv. Ryan, what's your take on earnings and how that impacts markets? Yeah. It's going to begin big time next week. Yeah, Marie, what I love about analysts is they usually get it wrong. And I think what you're going to see here is you have more fuel for the upside. I think your biggest risk this summer is you've got that $5 trillion sitting in cash. So many people aren't invested right now. All the economic data has just been phenomenal. And I think that's going to also correlate over to earnings. So, you know, the projections are so dire here that I have to think that, you know, companies are going to beat. I mean, just talking about financials next week. I mean, they're literally borrowing at 0% right now. So I think the number is going to come in better than expected. Yeah. And I think that if I'm in cash right now, I'd be really, really nervous that I'm not getting invested because if anything we've seen here is the market's been right, most analysts and strategists have been wrong. So, you know, you have to go with the market's telling you, and that's the economy is getting better and profits are going to come in strong. Yeah, but does that change, Ryan, if the market starts believing that Joe Biden wins and he brings in people like Elizabeth Warren? You see his economic plan today. Why did he feel the need to come up with an economic plan that was in step with what Bernie Sanders wants? But he did, and they're coming out and talking about what Biden and Bernie Sanders wants. I mean, obviously, that's a, a move to get the Bernie brothers, the Bernie bros, and the progressives to vote <laughs> for him. But still, he came out with the idea to, to release a unity policy Agending, agenda with Bernie Sanders. Yeah, those Bernie bros, you got to uh, you got to placate them. I think that's more rhetoric than what's going to happen in reality. And if you look at it statistically, look, economic growth has been the same now for the last 12 years, minus this year, obviously, under Democrats, Republicans. So I wouldn't delay an investment decision because what's going on in Capitol Hill, as Warren Buffett once said. So I think that uncertainty, again, just plays into why equity is such good value here. And I wouldn't let the election distract you. And I think at the end of the day, you know, Biden's more okay. likely a moderate than an extremist.